In this video, I'm going to grow the single node instance set up in the last video into a three node cluster. To quickly set up a cluster for this course, we'll properly configure the single node VM as a seeding VM, node zero, and use the cloning feature provided by the VMware workstation software to create the remaining two, node one and node two respectively. Particularly important is the settings of the cluster network. A convenient tool called Cluster SSH is also installed to easier management of the cluster. The higher level steps are shown on the screen. Because the demonstration environment is based on Ubuntu and VMware Workstation, the steps are supplementary information and are not covered in this video. Please refer to section 8 of this course for further details. Let's assume that the nodes and their network are properly created and set up. It's time to configure the Cassandra cluster. Launch Cluster SSH by CSSH Node 0, Node 1, Node 2. Apart from the Cluster SSH command window, three SSH windows come out as well. In the command window, type in cd slash etc slash Cassandra and press Enter. List out files in the directory. Make a backup of Cassandra.yaml before changing it by cp command. Check if the backup file exists. All right, it's there. Then edit the configuration file. Several parameters need to be changed. First, change cluster name to packed cluster. Then change num tokens to 256. Then seeds, change it to node zero. Next, set RPC address to 0.0.0.0. Also, change endpoint snitch to rack inferring snitch. Finally, use each individual SSH window to change listen address to its corresponding host name. For example, in node 0 SSH, change listen address to node 0, and so on. Go back to the cluster SSH command window. Type escape colon wq to save the files. Next, we'll start up the cluster. In node 0 SSH, start the Cassandra service. Check the service status. It's running. Check the node status by node tool. The node is up and normal and serves 100% loading. Then go to node 1 SSH. Start Cassandra. Check the node status. The result still shows node 0. Yes, it's node 0. Do you remember the gossip protocol? Node 1 takes about one minute to bootstrap. After one minute, node tool status again. It's up and normal and serves part of the loading, around 49%. Start up node 2 and keep waiting for about one minute. Node tool status shows all three nodes are up and normal, each sharing about one-third of the loading. We then test the cluster by shutting down the Cassandra service on node 2. Check the status of the service. OK, Cassandra is not running. Go back to node 0 SSH window, check the status of the cluster again. It shows node 2 is down and normal, which means node 2 is temporarily leaving the cluster. Now you've seen how to set up a cluster. In fact, it isn't difficult when a seeding node is set up properly. In this section, we've quickly gone through the three types of Cassandra installation. You'd be able to build your own now. Next, we're going to set up monitoring for the cluster, and I'll demonstrate how to use the tools efficiently.